This is a microscope. Coming straight from tiny scope, this mobile microscope claims to magnify anything up to 400 times and sells for 24 US dollars. It doesn't require batteries or wires. All it needs is a smartphone camera. Let's get unboxing. If gadget reviews, DIY projects, and life hacks are your thing, then consider subscribing to my booth and turn on the bell notification so you don't miss out on any of the action. Welcome back to my booth, Irfan here. Right, here we have the box. There's an image of the microscope on here. It says tiny scope, mobile microscope. It also shows uh, maximum magnification 400 times or 400x. On the back, we have the product dimensions along with some sample pictures. On the sides, we have the package contents and a QR code, which should open up a video tutorial on how to use the gizmo. Inside the box, we have the microscope, two sample micro slides, potato starch and butterfly wing, a user manual and a cleaning cloth. The microscope is sitting nicely inside this little plastic box with a strap. Other than the microscope, there are a dozen donut shaped double sided stickers. This is what the microscope looks like. Now, essentially, it is nothing more than a super macro lens encased in a piece of plastic. Build quality looks good, steady, good finishing around the edges, not fidgety, no loose parts, overall decent quality. On the back of the lens, we can see one of those donut shaped stickers is already there. And the remaining area is made of this translucent sort of matte frosted clear plastic. Now, this is very clever and I'll tell you why. See, this is a macro lens and it has to go up really close to view a subject, which means it will be blocking the light falling on the subject. So when you stick this on the camera, the flash will fall on the clear part and it will shine through this ring on the front side next to the lens, illuminating the subject enough to be seen clearly. Okay, so now we'll just go ahead and stick it on my phone. And the easiest way to do that is to peel off the double-sided sticker and keep the microscope horizontal on a flat surface. Now with the camera app open on the phone and the flash on as well, simply move the phone towards the scope and when you're close, you should be able to see a circular image. Try to aim as much as possible for the center and then just stick it on there. Make sure it is nice and firm and that's about it. We're ready to go. Now go ahead and launch the tiny scope app, which is available on App Store and Google Play for free. Click on the camera icon in the bottom and then the microscope icon and we are good to go. The flash automatically switches on and stays that way as long as we're in the app. You can of course toggle it on and off. I'll go ahead and place the phone flat down on my desk and here it is. You can see the texture of the table below with such clear detail and so magnified and well illuminated. Now I've gathered a bunch of really interesting things to show you so hang on till the end. Next up is a currency note. Once again place it flat on top and watch. This is a piece of fabric. Now you can simply enjoy the view or even take pictures or videos from within the app. Other than that, you can measure micro stuff with a ruler option in the app, which you will have to calibrate in the beginning. You can toggle flash on or off, change the resolution of the output image or videos and play around with some more options from settings. Now you might be thinking, won't it scratch the lens if I keep dragging it on surfaces? Well, they've actually thought it out. See how the lens is actually dented inwards so it doesn't contact the surface when I place it on it. Uh, it is placed in such a precise way, so when you lay it flat, the subject is at the most optimum distance from the lens to be viewed clearly. Moving on, there was a suggestion from Fat Planet on my initial unboxing video to catch tiny bugs and show them on the microscope. You know what, you read my mind. Here is a mosquito. And here is a housefly. By now I noticed that this lens has a very shallow focus and it's easier to view flatter objects rather than ones with a lot of depth, like an insect. So here is a green leaf. And here is a dry one. Here is a dove's feather. What next? How about some sand particles? Or salt? Now I know what you are thinking. 
that's not 400 times magnification that's barely 25 times and that's because it is not now when i read that it was 400x i knew there was something i was missing so after a little bit of online research i found out it claims a magnification of 20 to 400 times and i thought well this isn't a variable magnification lens so what exactly do they mean by 20 to 400x and then i got it see the tiny scope app has a built-in digital zoom of 20x which you can utilize to reach 400 times but the actual optical magnification value of the microscope is 20x it's not going to be that clear at 400 times but it is still something now i'm going to show you the same samples which you saw earlier at 20x magnification next to their 400 times magnification versions and you be the judge Here are a couple more samples and then time for the final verdict. Here is a ballpoint pen tip. And we actually forgot about the slides that came with it. Here is a potato starch. And this is butterfly wing. All right, time to wrap it up. What do I think? It's good. I like it. Sturdy build, pocketable size sleek and well thought out design the quality of the lens is actually good which is why we really get clear images good overall package with the samples and the stickers and all now i do wish there was a way i could mount it on and off without the stickers as eventually i'll run out of them and i don't know how to order more is it worth 24 dollars well i've shown you everything it can do you be the judge and let me know in the comments below i want to know what you think i'll leave a link below in case you want to check it out that's it for now guys, if you enjoyed what you saw, hit the like button below, share the video with your friends and family and don't forget to subscribe to my booth for more gadget reviews, DIYs and life hacks. You can also follow me on Instagram and other social media, all the links are in the description box below. Click on the thumbnails to watch my other videos or check out my YouTube channel for more. And as always, thanks for watching.